Yeah, baby. Yeah. Tell you what, the sound of that smoker just never gets old. Never! motocross track everybody's like spaced out as far as parking um shit welcome back to the channel everybody so excited haven't rode in such a long time i forgot to pull the choke looks like they put in some new turns and some new obstacles stuff uh i either have never ridden or haven't ridden in a long time so I'm definitely going to be taking some siding laps Learn the new sections. Stop, exit only. Okay, I could read signs. That's different too. All these new rules for social distancing. I've seen people go this way, so helmet bands must be on while riding inner track here. Okay, I'm in the right place. Got some double jumps here. The landings look pretty rounded. Pretty safe. Make sure there's nobody coming. These little double jumps are pretty easy. Uh, as you go outside, you get more run. You have bigger lips. I've seen some people triple, triple the far side. But I think I said it earlier, my balls ain't that big. Oh, they put this back in. That jump makes it really hard to hit the inside right there. I remember this. That's where I almost died that one time. This looks about the same. Worked, except I forgot to grab third over that first double and so I hit I hit the tabletop in second I should have been in third we didn't really get on the brakes very good okay so we did the doubles doubles we just need to connect a couple of those other turns and then we'll be all right do not cross track here that's a good idea that would be bad Not bad. I've always been super slow at figuring new stuff out. Which is why when I was doing the state races, usually for the state events, they'd have open practice all day Saturday. And then all your motos were on Sunday. Sometimes it, it, they would, they'd split the days up. But So I started just showing up on Saturday and it would take me, you know, half, sometimes three quarters of the day to get all the stuff kind of wired down and all my lines and everything. And even though they like re the track and the track is, uh, the lines can be a little bit different. The main thing was to have a plan, know you can do all the obstacles. And then I was ready for racing on Sunday. So man, it ended up being just a weekend commitment. It's part of the reason why I don't do them anymore just because of that huge weekend commitment. And I know that one of my weakest things is always showing up to the track and getting like five laps to figure everything out. 
and then like boom gate drops race one and you just better have your shit together and uh, I never did so I always had to do the Saturday practices so I could get everything wired for Sunday but anyway I'm gonna drink some water and catch my breath and then we'll uh, see if we can't just put the whole thing together next next session But they're kind of parked really close together over here. There's one big happy Corona family. All right, guys, that's it for this video. It is over. It is done. I am tired. I'm gonna go home, drink lots of water, and eat some food, and yada yada yada. If you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate it. And if you like the video, like it. Give me the big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And you know, if you got nothing else better to do, share the video spread the love because i need lots of love i'm a very needy kind of person i need love okay so give me some love i need love <laughs> Woo, little wheelie all right see you guys later keep the rubber side down and uh we'll see you in the next video bye <laughs> That felt good. <laughs>